Hello guys and welcome back. It's been a while. I haven't had a video since Suicide Squad review a few months back, but I'm finally back. I'm finally settled. And here we go. This is not just a normal video. I am back with the podcast and I love doing these. I hope you guys love watching these as well. Well, not really watching, but listening to these. And just to remind you, this is Eric Moss Speaks Out. I, this is just all movies. I talk about movie trailers that came out in the last week, movie releases that are coming out this week, DVD releases that are coming out this week, and movie news that have happened in the week. So, without further ado, um, I just want to make one quick announcement that I'm going to have, probably be having more announce, more podcasts in the future. One, not just solely on movies. I'll probably have... Maybe one centered on sports, another one with just weird stuff with my friends. You know, I have a lot of ideas with podcasts. And, you know, maybe it can get something big. And I eventually have want to do these. I want to put these on iTunes so you don't have to go on YouTube to really listen to them. So that's my main thing. I'm, I want to get on iTunes eventually. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to really delve into that because I still have school. It's my final year. I got to really get those grades good for colleges. So, you know. But as I said before, I'm going to be starting now. And first off, let's kick off with the trailers. A new trailer came out today. That was Wonder Woman. That's the next DC film. Comes out June next year. It stars Gal Gadot and Tris Chris Pine. It is a prequel to Batman v Superman. It is the first solo women-led superhero film since Elektra did. Everyone kind of forgets about Elektra. But yeah, uh, I watched the trailer. I, I liked the first one. I, I'm still optimistic about this film, but I didn't seem to quite... It looked more worse than I thought it was going to be. Now, I've been looking forward to this film. I loved... I've been liking the casting. I've been liking the new edge to it. I just... I wanted... The, like, my thing with the Logan trailer... Now, if you know... If you see my Instagram... Um, I've been, review, been reviewing a lot of movies and stuff on my Instagram. I just haven't been doing it here. I was not a fan of Logan. Because I felt... The Logan trailer, at least. I felt it took too much of a... Uh, grounded take on him I wanted more of the comic take that we get with him being just slicing people up and I wanted the Weapon X version of him in his final outing and I feel like for this one I wanted it to be more grounded in the sense that it's World War 2 which I felt could be genius I felt like this movie needs to be more set back but it feels while watching the trailer I'm like it feels like Zack Snyder directed this. And I don't know if all DC films are going to feel like this. Uh, Suicide Squad felt like that in the action scenes. Uh, Batman v Superman, obviously. Man of Steel, I did not like Man of Steel that much. Um, I thought it was a decent movie. I don't like watching it, really. Um, I prefer Batman v Superman than Man of Steel. Uh, mainly because of Batman. But yeah, but... The Wonder Woman trailer, it feels overdone. The effects feel... I mean, we still got half a year for this movie, so I'm not going to say really anything about the effects right now. Uh, Gal Gadot, I, 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 loved, I loved her in Batman v Superman, but in this trailer, her lines came off a bit wooden, and I don't know, I feel like she wasn't really conveying a lot of emotion in her lines. I don't know if that's just her as an actress, the direction, or just the script itself. But hopefully she seems gets better in the actual film i'm still gonna see it it comes out uh the beginning of june june 2nd i believe uh two weeks before kingsman and three weeks before transformers so yeah i mean it's gonna do well and i'm gonna see it no matter what probably the next movie trailer i want to discuss is my last one of this week is life this one has ryan reynolds and jake gyllenhaal it looks uh, okay i did not watch the full trailer for this because my, but cause my other friend, I don't watch The Walking Dead. My family watches it, and they they pointed this trailer out to me. It didn't get released because they had run The Walking Dead, but then they didn't release it online till like the next day. And it was uh, I didn't watch the full trailer. I saw the part 
It looks interesting, to say the least. It looks a mixture of gravity. It looks like it's combining all these different sci-fi movies into one. Which, I mean, it looks intense. It's got the it's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it. And Ryan Reynolds. Capable, capable actors. Both kind of different actors. Because Jake Gyllenhaal is a more dramatic one. While Ryan Reynolds has the more charismatic um, take on him. But I'm going to see it. It looked like Ryan Reynolds was the was going to be like the bad guy, so to say, in this. Um, I'm going to get on the official plot right now. Uh, right now, I'm on Google. I'm searching it right now. I th it looks interesting. It comes out Memorial Day next year. It's about the six-member crew of the International Space Station is tasked with studying a sample from Mars. It may be the first proof of extraterrestrial life, which proves more intelligent than ever expected. That Jake Jones Hall... Ryan Reynolds and Rebecca Ferguson is directed by Daniel Espinosa, who did Child 44, Safe House, which I did not see. I heard Safe House, Safe House was decent, right? I'm, th I'm, th I'm saying that, yeah, Safe House I heard was decent. Um, I don't think Child 44 got that great reviews, though. Yeah, it, it got horrible reviews. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. It's made by Sony, which, if you guys know, I'm not too big of a fan of Sony. Uh, just because of what they've done with the Spider-Man franchise and how disorganized they seem to be. I didn't like Ghostbusters either. Well, I didn't, I kind of say I didn't like it, but it was decent. But anyways, going back on this trailer, it's, it, it was good. I felt like it was a good teaser for what to expect. That's really, it was only like a minute long trailer, I believe. And... It showed us flashes, it showed us glimpses of possibly human, the human characters turning on each other, deciding what to do with this. And yeah. So, back, uh, now my next category are movies that are coming out in theaters this week. Let's get on to the biggie, Doctor Strange. I've watched this movie last week, I saw this movie at advanced screening, of course. I liked it, I think it's a really great movie, I think it's a much different Marvel film, because I, I get sick of people saying all Marvel movies are the same. I'm just like, yeah. I mean, they could be saying all superhero movies are the same. Because, I mean, superhero movies are basically the same thing. I mean, to be honest, if you're saying that, superhero movies are all the same. Don't be coming at me saying, Man of Steel is different. No, if you're going by that logic, they're different. Just because Man of Steel might be a bit darker, it's not different. It still follows the same superhero formula. If you're trying to say that, I just think people are getting tired of the. I I'm not saying all people. I think this is much more. Um, I'm thinking of the word right now. Um, I'm I'm gonna say minimal, but I'm not, I don't think that's the right word to use. But they're much more of a like. There's only a few of these people, but they just I don't know. They nag. Me. I. I just want to like kind of like punch them in the face certain times while discussing movies with them. Um, it's just like I, I think those people are getting sick of the lightheartedness, which I'm not. I actually prefer the lightheartedness, light heart, the comedy in these Marvel movies. Yes, they can be overdone sometimes, but I like them because they keep up with the tone of the comics. At least with Marvel, I think they're nailing the tone. Marvel comics are more light, colorful. And I think they're doing that right in the MCU. But as I was saying, Doctor Strange is a much different film. It takes you... It's a much darker film. Not really dark, but it it hardly has any comedy in it. Uh, there's a few instances of comedy, which I wasn't a too big of a fan. And my phone's ringing now, which I don't know why. So I'm not going to pick that up. So if you hear a phone ringing, then you know what it's from. Um, so Doctor Strange, I see. I might see it again. In the theaters, I want to see it again. If you saw my Instagram review, I gave it 9 out of 10. It was a film I really needed to see it. I really needed to see a film like that. I was getting a lot of... Now my fax machine's ringing. Uh, a lot of my... A lot of the movies I've been watching recently have not been that great. So I really needed a film like that. And then we have Trolls, which I'm actually... I'm not going to say I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually... If I go... See, I'm not, like, against it. Let me say that. Uh, I'll go see it. Um, it's getting good reviews. And it's got... It's a musical, of course. Um, it's Justin Timberlake, Anna Kendrick. Uh, two capable lead people right now. Uh, Justin Timberlake, eh. 
but Anna Kendrick is. Anna Kendrick gets a bit annoying in films sometimes if she's overdone. Uh, but yeah, I'll go see it. It looks, it looks, it looks like a cliche family film, animated family film. But I'll go see it. Then we also have Hexa Ridge, which is directed by Mel Gibson. It stars and and Garfield also has Vince Vaughn in it, which I really find hilarious. I think Vince Vaughn is still like after the internship, he's like, man, I gotta get out of these comedies, um, and watch. Which I actually both the internship not so much, but I actually enjoy watching the watch. Even though I know it's not the best. Um, so yeah. Uh, Hexo Ridge and great reviews. I want to see it. Andrew Garfield. I'm happy he's actually bringing out the Spider-Man role. I absolutely hate him as Spider-Man. I didn't, I'm not going to say I hate him, but I never got the feeling he was actually Spider-Man Peter Parker. I never really got that from him. I th I get that feeling from Tom Holland. I get that feeling from Tobey Maguire. I don't get that from Andrew Garfield. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, I like how... I find this hilarious how they... All the marketing, don't mention Mel Gibson name. I'm not too familiar with the Mel Gibson controversy. Um, so yeah, um, it seems like a lot of people don't like him. And they're using that. They just put... From the director of Braveheart. Uh, I think everyone knows who the director of Braveheart is. So yeah. And then, uh, also in limited release, we have Moonlight and Loving. Uh, two films I want to see. I haven't really... S I did not watch the trailer for each of them. I heard they're really Oscar-worthy. I read, like, brief... I know the Loving thing. I know the Loving story because I learned about it in U.S. history uh, back in sophomore year of high school. Um, Moonlight is a... Is, I actually do want to see that. Isn't that the one about the um, drug dealer or something? I'm searching right now. Moonlight 2016 film. Um, uh, I gotta get off and Moonlight Showtimes. I'm just trying to get a brief spot some gnosis here. Synopsis. I don't know how to say that word to be honest. A timeless story of human connection and self-discovery. Moonlight chronicles the life of a young black man from childhood to adulthood as he struggles to find his place in the world while growing up in a rough neighborhood in Miami. So yeah, I it's playing around me. Where? Oh, <gasps> it's playing. It's playing only like twenty miles away from me, guys. I don't know. I may have to go see that. Is it playing like a? I got go. On, I got go on Fandango after this. Uh, but yeah, I find it interesting. It I think it has uh the guy um from uh, Luke Cage and Hunger Games, Masha Ali. I never heard him pronounce his name. I think he plays a drug dealer. He plays a drug dealer or something. Um, he's been getting a lot of Oscar buzz for Best Supporting Actor, which I can't... I, I really want to see this film. I've not seen the trailer yet, which... I try to avoid trailers for the Oscar-worthy films. That's why I haven't really watched anything from La La Land, which... I've I watched the first trailer of La La Land, the one that was only like a minute long. Then I watched some of the second one, and I haven't, I haven't watched anything since. I know they released a new trailer today, but I'm not going to be talking about that. So yeah. Uh, then my next topic, and then, yeah, then that completes the movies that are coming out this week. Those two films are limited: Doctor Strange, Trolls, Hacksaw Ridge, or Wide. DVD releases: Star Trek Beyond, Bad Moms, and Non Lives. I didn't really enjoy any of these films. I did not watch Non Lives, but yeah. Um, oh no! What? Why? It says it's okay. Okay, that's my, that's a weird thing. It lied to me. It lied to me. Jesus. Never mind. I was just looking up Moonlight Showtimes. It lied to me. It's not playing at that theater. Um, okay, so Star Trek Beyond, I didn't quite dig it. It was... I, I watched the first Star Trek movie, then uh, the reboot series. I didn't really care for the first one. Didn't watch the second one. I watched the third one. I didn't really quite enjoy it. I know some people really did. I didn't care care for it. Then we have Bad Moms. I absolutely despised that movie. Didn't find it hilarious. Didn't find it even funny. I didn't even get really a chuckle from it. I gave it a 2 out of 10 because of the actors involved. Looked like they were having fun. Ooh, they do reserve seating there. Um, So, yeah. There we go. 
And then the other film is Nine Lives, which I don't even think we should be talking about that. So yeah, I'm not even going to bring that up. Uh, Kevin Spacey, why did you do that? Now I'm going on my last category uh, area that I'm going to be talking about. Our movie news this is the most lengthy reviews. Move lengthy stuff. So yeah. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about in the last week. So announced a Olivia Munn's in Predator, which I um I don't think she's the best of actors. I don't. But um, I feel like she could be. Uh, she could be. Um, it's like for her, just stand there and don't talk. Just be a menacing threat. That's what, like, she was dad in sight in X Men Apocalypse. I think she was in something else that I watched recently. I'm gonna go on her uh, filmography right now. That I'm like, no, stop acting. Stop. You're not good. Um. Uh, uh, she was in uh Zoolander. Oh, she was in Rod Mordecai. Mordecai was the movie I hated her in. Yeah, that's the movie I hated her in. Uh, but I think she's fine. Shane Black's directing this, which I have utmost um respect for him. I didn't really care for not the nice guys. I know a lot of people really loved it. I didn't really find it that all that funny i enjoyed it i didn't it, it wasn't that great um yeah so uh ooh. that's weird that's a weird setting i'm reading a report about the predator um boyd holbrook's in it which i think you see a glimpse of him in logan he's in logan by the way so yeah, I I I'm not too I can't I have to watch what she plays. What if she I I just read a report she's supposed to be like a scientist or something. This all I get a lot of this information from coming soon. I read that report on Collider just a few seconds ago. So yeah. Next thing we're talking about Starship Troopers. It's getting a reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it. This one's going to follow more closely to the book. I think that's what the report says. And they hired the direct the writers of Mark Swift and Damian Shannon to write this one. Direct, they also wrote Freddy vs. Jason, Friday the Thirteenth, and Baywatch, which not that great record. So, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, Neil Patrick Harris can he make a return? And a lot of movie release date changes from Sony today. Uh, Dark Tower moves from February 17th to January, July 28th next year. It is uh, it's because it says that the post-production won't be completed by probably next month to January, early January. So yeah, it's going to be mm, different. Um, I watched the leaked trailer for I I didn't I couldn't really get much of a judgment on it because it was bad quality. I mean, it's not Matthew McConaughey and neither so, but I never read the book, so uh, I don't know. It, also, people are speculating that maybe Sony thinks this is, film is really good and they believe it can get good word of mouth. To, again, uh, what would it be going up against? I'm checking right now. I feel like it's going up against something. That I know. Uh, Alien Covenant comes out that week. It'll be going up against a Disney live-action fairy tale, which I'm not going to be coming out now, of Valerian City of Thousand Planets, which that comes out before. Don't make any... That movie looks bad. From what I heard, it I don't, I'm don't. i not digging it. Then you have Dunkirk the week before, which I'm probably going to be seeing. Four for Planet Apes, two weeks, and then Spider-Man three weeks before. Then Alien Covenant, Covenant, the week after. So it doesn't really face a lot of competition. The really direct one are Alien Covenant and Dunkirk. But I think that's actually a good thing for it. And I think it could really break out. And they're really wanting it to become the next sequel. And then Jumanji got pushed to basically Christmas time. December 22nd, 2017. Even though they're already filming it. And so you gotta wait like another year. You have to wait a whole year for it. It would be going up against Star. It'd be going up against Star Wars, Ferdinand, 
Pitch Perfect 3 and $6 billion man, plus the greatest showman on earth. That's going to be a busy time. That's even going to be busy. Like, I feel like this December is going to be busy with Rogue One, Assassin's Creed, Passengers, Sing, La La Land, Fences. I think this this is going to be much busier because you have Star Trek. No, Star, Star Wars 8 just, I, I don't know what I did there. And then put Pitch Perfect 3. I did, oh, watch the second one. That was, eh, yeah, it was, eh. Yeah. And then the Flatliners remakes gonna be coming out on September 29th, 2017, instead of August 18th. This one's gonna have Ellen Page, Diego Luna, Nino Deprev, Kiefer Sutherland. And then the uh, Equalizer 2 got pushed back a whole year to September 14th, 2018. Denzel Washington returning, probably Antoine Fuqua as well. He hasn't been confirmed yet, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, Train Spotting 2 uh, gets pushed back a month, March 3rd, in limited release, and it comes out a following week in wide release. So, yeah, those are a lot of movie release dates from Sony. And then now we have um, another bit of news that came out today. Uh, Junkie XL is not composing Deadpool 2 because Tim Miller isn't directing it. I love Junkie XL. I love their score for Mad Max. I love their work with Hans Zimmer and Batman v Superman. I think they're one of the most rising, one of the more rising composers in the business. I think them, Hans Zimmer, and I think Michael Gian Gianchino are my three favorite. There's another guy I really like, but uh, I can't think of his name. Um, but I think it's a big hit, big miss for Deadpool 2, and I know Hans Zimmer isn't doing superhero movies anymore. So yeah, I don't know who's going to be composing now. Um, I also like Henry Jackman, I think is his name, who did X-Men First Class, Rick and Ralph. Yeah. And then also been news we got today was that uh, they're going. Sony Pictures have picked Fidi Alvarez, who did Don't Breathe, which I've yet to see, even though it got great reviews, and Evil Dead remake to do the Girl with the Dragon Two sequel. And this one won't be the girl who played fire and or the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. This one's going to be based on the girl in the spider's web, which I've never read any of these movies. I know my parents saw the one with Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. Um, uh, Dave Fincher, that's a big loss. I heard Dave Fincher might do World War Z. So, hopefully that pans out. War Dave Fincher directed my favorite film of all time, Zodiac. I, I just love Zodiac. Uh, no Dan Craig or Rooney Mara this time. It's gonna be, uh, uh, I know it's gonna be someone else. I know it's gonna be someone else. I can't, the report doesn't say the name. Uh, so yeah, and then uh, yesterday, I think yesterday, it was yesterday or two days ago, Johnny Depp got confirmed for Fantastic Beast Two. He might play, he might show up a bit for Fantastic Beast first one. And it comes out in two weeks. And let's see how much Johnny Depp screws over Harry Potter, um, because Johnny Depp likes to just screw over franchises. You know, even though I loved. I didn't really care for him in Lone Ranger. I thought that was mainly Army Hammer that I loved in Lone Ranger. Guy, if you guys didn't know, I love Lone Ranger. I just, I don't get the hate for it. I just don't. People complain about it being too long, but it's an origin story. I think, yeah, I could come back in a little bit, but I love it. I think it's one of the best films in the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, I want Johnny Depp to do stuff like Black Mass. I loved Black Mass. I thought. Him and Will Smith had the best performances last year. And he goes to this stuff. Now, I'm not saying for this Beast or Harry Potter is is bad. It's not. Um, but I'm hoping he doesn't play an eccentric character. I'm really hoping not. Um, I've heard, been hearing rumors that he might be a young Dumbledore, which I just don't believe. I think that would be stupid. I heard the next one would be set in Paris. Um, I said right report. So yeah, um, um, I don't know what to think of this. Hopefully, he this is one of his better performances. Then also, Ocean's Eight began production that has Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Mindy Kaling, Mindy Kaling. I forget who was else in it. 
Is it coming out next year, summer? No? Oh, well, um... I'm trying to get on it, guys. Give me a sec. I'm thinking who else is in it. Oceans. Yeah, I'm just going to Oceans Challenge. They're coming out June 8, 2018. Wow, they're already starting production on this. and then come up to another year and a half. Uh, Sarah Bullock, Kate Blanchard, Hel Helena Bonham Carter, Anne Hathaway, Rihanna, Mindy Colling, Kayling, Dakota Fanning, Sarah Paulson, and other bit, uh, two other people that I don't recognize the names of. Um, but yeah, I never saw the first three Oceans films. This one's directed by Gary Ross, who did the Hunger Games Free State of Jones, which I've yet to see Free State of Jones. I've been wanting to see that. I heard that I suck though, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, I I always find it weird for these type of films. Because this film isn't going to be relying on special effects that much. CGI, to say at least. I always find it weird how these films come out early. I, I find it weird how these type of films film super early. Like the Wonder Woman film almost was shot a year and a half. And then that one's more understandable. But I always find it weird. Like, usually you shoot a movie a year before it comes out. I find this weird. I don't know if he's going to be trying to go up for Oscars or something. I don't know. And then going off Tim Miller. When Tim Miller left Deadpool 2. Uh, creative differences. He was hired by Sony to help develop Sonic the Hedgehog. I loved Sonic the Hedgehog as a kid. I could honestly care less about Sonic the Hedgehog now. Maybe in... 20 years, I'll find some nostalgia thing with him. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll probably see the movie whenever it comes out. <coughs> Ooh, got a cough there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Tim Miller, you go from Deadpool 2 to Sonic, not the... Uh, what do you think? Sonic is more pro is better project than Deadpool 2? I would disagree on that. Yeah, and then uh, also Disney's developing a Snow White remake. That was... Obviously inevitable. They're Disney developing every remake they can. It's like soon when they're going to start developing a Frozen live action film. Um, it's like they probably will never make a live action film of Meet the Robinsons. Or or like when they're in that phase where it was just like. We are absolutely in crap. Like I remember I really enjoyed Meet the Robinsons. I'm going to see what other films that came out at that time. I know uh, a lot of people like to crap on Chicken Little. I actually I actually mind it. I don't mind that film. I loved it as a kid. Like, a lot of these films I loved as a kid. Here we go. I got it. Uh, 2000s. They had Dinosaur, Emperor's New Groove, Atlantis, Spirit... No... Treasure Planet, Brother Bear, Home on the Oh man, Home on the Range really sucked. Uh, Valiant, I actually didn't mind Valiant. Uh, Chicken Little, The Wild really sucked as well. Uh, Meet the Robinsons. Boat was actually where start the animation start really getting back into the groove. Then the Princess of the Frog, Princess and the Frog, and Tangled was the one that really I actually really enjoy. I love Tangled. I prefer that more, more. I prefer that than Frozen, and yeah, and then you had Wreck-It Ralph. So, animated films. Uh, I'm seeing this list. I can definitely see them remaking Lilo and Stitch. I think that's gonna require a lot of CGI, but Lilo Stitch has some cult following for some reason. Uh. So yeah, I think they could definitely. They're probably gonna eventually announce that. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, that's obvious. I mean, they're remaking all their classic films right now. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs getting remake. Pinocchio, I don't think that's gotten remaked yet. But, yeah. Yep, it's, get, it's getting there. It's getting there. And, and they, yeah, yeah, but they're developing it. Yeah, Fantasia, Dumbo, I know they're developing Dumbo. Bambi, I don't think it'd be. I don't think that's. I think that one's quite hard. Song of the South, yeah, I don't think they'll be remaking that. Um, uh, Cinderella, which I actually really, I love Cinderella. The new, the remake, I thought I loved it. I thought it was really well. 
Alice in Wonderland, they did that. Peter Pan, they're developing that. Lady and the Tramp, I don't see them doing that. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, yes. Then they do that. Isn't that the one? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they did that. Sword in the Stone, I can see them doing that. Jungle Book, they did. Uh, Robin Hood, which I don't see them doing. Nope, nope, yep, yep, it has. They've started developing it. The tone is sim said to be similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. Uh, the rescue. Oh, yeah, they, the 70s really sucked for them as well. In Pete's Dragon and stuff. A uh, Little Mermaid, obviously. Beauty and the Beast, we, that's next year. Aladdin, they said they're developing that. The Lion King, another development. Pocahontas, which I could see them doing that as well. Uh, they're making one for Mulan. Hercules, I don't see them doing Hercules. But I could, yeah, I wouldn't say I, could, I don't see them. I could definitely see them. Hunchback and Lord Damon, aren't they, aren't they remaking that as well? I thought they were. Um, yeah, and then that's really it. Um, so yeah, and Tarzan, under, there has been a lot of Tarzans, I think they're doing that, and yeah, yeah, a lot of Disney films now are being remade into these films, which I'm not quite digging, I'd rather see Disney come up with original ideas, these films pushed away Tron 3, which I can, I love Tron, I really want another Tron, but I didn't get it, and I'm mad about that. Another bit of news, uh, I don't, I'm gonna mispronounce his last name, Rick Famuyiya leaves The Flash as director over creative differences, I'm assuming that they're probably rewriting a bit scenes, didn't want, supposedly he wanted to go in an edgier way, and I think Warner Bros. wanted to go, probably lighthearted, probably want to make The Flash a bit, the light, the comic, com comedic relief, so yeah, um, so, I mean, I mean, I wonder what that's going to mean. Like, he brought in the person who's going to play Iris West, uh, Billy Crudup. I love, I love that move. He's going to play Joe, not Joe West. Oh, man. Barry Allen's dad. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think this big blow of Flash. I heard that it's hard to get delayed because it needs to start production by ne March next year to, he, to reach our 2018 release date. But they said it's going to be hard for them to find a director in time and set up everything. So, yeah. Uh, they're rebooting Rambo, Rambo which I, I didn't read the details of this. So, yeah, they're rebooting Rambo. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, but I did not see a report about this. But I saw on Instagram they're making Escape Plan 2. And I honestly hated the first Escape Plan. I'm reading these stupid details now, guys. I'm searching Escape Plan 2. I want to see these. I want to know if it's real or not. Yep, Sylvester Stallone is returning for Escape Plan 2. No. Deadline has word on the sequel, which will bring back producers Mark Cannon and Zach Chiller, as well as writer Miles Chapman. It's going to be financed by an unnamed Chinese company, mostly because the film performed so well in the region. Um, turn in reading, guys. I hate Escape Plan. I saw it for like four bucks. I honestly hated it. I'm like, D no, no, I don't want it. And I don't want to talk about this thing anymore. And we actually have some more details on Edge of Tomorrow 2. It's a sequel and a prequel, which I'm assuming is probably going to have some sort of time travel in it. Because I understand the prequel aspect with uh, doing uh, Emily Blunt's character's um, thing. Uh, her. Uh, her, her saving, her, uh, cause there's a detail where she got, uh, trapped in, she got the goo stuck on her or something like that. I've, I haven't watched the movie in two years. I love the movie though. So yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the sequel. I think Doug Lyman's returning. I, 
but he's got like two pro he's got multiple projects he's working on. So yeah, I don't know if he's gonna officially come back, but I know Tom Cruise is. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna be some time travel thing again, where some of it's gonna take place in the future, some of it's gonna take place in the past, during when the aliens during the alien fight. I I just wanna see what they're gonna do with it. Also, Sherlock Holmes three is moving forward with the writer's room. I don't know what that means. I'm hope I don't yeah, they're making a Sherlock Holmes universe. If they actually did that, I would I'll be like Warner Brothers. Why? Uh, I never watched the first two Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I heard good things about the first one, I think, and the second one was. Eh. I don't like Guy Ritchie as a director. I don't. Some people really love him. I don't. I don't like his style. So yeah. And then we have uh, God Particle. Then. Uh, that has Daniel Brule and there's another name actor. Oh, Dan David O'Yellow and Goo Goo Mabatha Raw. I think that's how pronounced their name. That's gonna be the next Cloverfield movie, and that one's supposed to be set in space. Uh, so that, I'm actually really love. I I love Ten Cloverfield Lane. I love the f the first Cloverfield. I'm absolutely anticipating this one, guys. Can't wait to see it. And these are two other. I, no, I'm going to get back on the Cloverfield. I heard that they are gonna be might be doing an anthology similar to Twilight Zone, where they're all going to have similar themes, but they're not similar themes-ish. and But they're not going to be incorrect in the universe. Well, some people are like, oh, it's going to be in the same universe. But, like, the 10 Cloverfield Lane didn't really have a lot. They, as I watched Chris Stuckman's video, there's only, like, a brief, slight nod at a... At them being interrelated, and then these are two news that uh, came out a little bit more than a week ago. But I felt like talking about them. Daniel Glover got cast as Lando in the Han Solo movie, and I I love the move. I I watched the first two seasons of Atlanta for, not first first two episodes of Atlanta. Have yet to watch the rest of it, but I loved the first two episodes. Uh, I've been just back on time. Um, I might be able to watch it on demand. If not, then I'll probably find it online. Because you can find anything online now. So, yeah, I love Atlanta. I love Donald Glover. I think he's a good comedic relief type actor. Yeah, I can't wait to see what he is in Spider-Man Homecoming. That's going to be interesting. And then, uh, other last bit of news is that Toy Story 4 got delayed again. And then... Incredibles 2 got moved up, so they basically they swap release dates. So the Toy Story 4 in 2019 and Incredibles 2 in 2018. I'm not looking forward to Incredibles 2 as much as some people, other people are, but I know that's gonna please a lot of fans. It's like okay, I'm making an analogy here, um, similar similarity here. It's like when Shawn Michaels retired from WWE, it was so perfect for him. The same thing with Toy Story 3. It it had a perfect conclusion. It's like, I want to see more, but then I know it might tarnish the legacy. Which, I'm hoping it doesn't. I want to see more, so I'm going to be on the lines of that. But yeah, hopefully Toy Story 4 is great. Hopefully incredible. Hopefully, I'm hoping Pixar is back on its game. Because I, I loved Inside Out. I think it's one of the best films of last year. Along with Star wars force awakens and steve jobs and then i i enjoyed finding dory i didn't love it as much as inside out or the first uh as much as finding nemo but yeah i enjoy it and that will conclude the first episode of eric moss speaks out follow me on instagram and twitter i review movies on instagram I've been reviewing movies. I haven't been as active as I was over the summer, but I still review movies. Account review is going to be up there soon. Probably in the next few days. I enjoy the account. And then, uh, Twitter, I usually tweet about wrestling stuff. I don't really tweet about a lot of movies. But yeah, if you want to follow me on there, go do it at Ringo9876. My Facebook page, I don't really use that much often anymore, so I'm not really going to um, um, market that. Uh, like and share everybody with friends and family. This is only the beginning of season two of Eric Moss. He saw season one back in Hawaii. This is season two. I'm back. And 
just be ready to see a lot more videos. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna feel very bad if I say if I say this and I don't. You guys don't see a lot of videos, but yeah, I hope you guys see a lot of videos in the upcoming future. Um, a lot of pod. Um, for me, the film podcast with my friends. I'm gonna do that on weekends more than likely because they live six hours, three to six hours away from me. So yeah, probably weekends are probably gonna be the way to go on that. So yeah. So if you want to leave any comments about the stuff that I talked about in this, leave them comment back below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on films. Maybe uh, get a brief discussion in the comments about it. Any guys? Anyway, guys. Hope you subscribe. Hope you share. Hope you like. Hope you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hope you really enjoyed this episode. Um, she's first episode of season two of Eric Moss. Peace out. <laughs>